up, Humanoid Nation? So we got another video from Most Offensive Video. And it was requested quite a while back. I'm finally getting to it. Like I said, I do get to my request. It just takes some time, depending how many other requests before them. So for all the people that keep on mentioning, like, oh, you got to do this one, you got to do this one, I requested this one. It, I will get to it eventually. Don't worry. When I say I'll get to it, I'll get to it. It'll just take me a while. Because like I said, I've got them all written down on a list. I'm going down one by one by one. So, let's get to this one. The Fat Albert Kwanzaa Special. Let's do this shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, hey, hey. This is the Fat Albert Kwanzaa Special. School in some attack. Covered in hay. When the fuck are you salubrious niggas gonna be ready to put on this Kwanzaa play? Why the fuck are we bumping titties for a Kwanzaa play anyway? There ain't a nigga in all of Philadelphia that actually celebrates Kwanzaa. Rudy, you're like Destiny's Child Reunion at the Super Bowl. Destiny's Child Reunion at the Super Bowl? A big disappointment. Come on, we supposed to represent the seven principles. And I see you hollyhocks just fucked what all the over fuck the principle wearing? number one. Two wrongs don't make a white. Now let's catch cold on all the two wrongs don't make a white. You niggas a grave. Where are the three wise guys? Yeah. And where is the marvelous Kwanzaa lion? I don't see a lion. I see two gorillas in a moose costume. Hey, fat out. Kwanzaa's weird. You fly in when we recreate the birth of Black Jesus. Now let's hit it on a turnaround. Behold, you banana Kelly looking chalk lovers, as Black Jesus is begat to us from the Cali pigeon hand flaps of Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, exactly how we gonna vilify this, fat out? I have no we idea what you're saying. I need a kettle. The Kwanzaa yeah. miracle will restore his black ass to us. Holy shit, it's Black Jesus! What does Black Jesus look like? That sounds less like Black Jesus and more like the Black Gestapo. <laughs> Chams, do I gotta tell really? you, heavy-headed wombats, I'm gonna tear down this underprivileged juke joint. Uh, Mr. Tyrone, it's Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? Are you dirty song singing pole cats, green Latin bull derms dipped in brake fluid? <laughs> Every day you common bangers are loitering in my junkyard, the property value depreciates from zero to Nicaragua. But, uh, Mr. Tyrone. And what in the fuck are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm supposed to be Kanye West. You know, Black Jesus' is mentor and best friend. Kanye West? Kanye West is about three years away from doing an oldies tour with Jamiroquai. We just following wow, the story Jamiroquai. from this year, nigga, no That's an old school name. Black Jesus. What the hell the happened to Jamiroquai? Your Kwanzaa production makes the universe soul circus look like William Marshall's Othello. If you devil mongers ain't out of here by the night, I'm gonna flatten you all into a lump of greasy duck. Oh no, we really? must get the like money to save this place. Ah, Let's do an electric so boogaloo. So much for Kwanzaa breaking, principle number two. Breaking number two. When the going gets trouble, the tell take a photo of our lunch break. What the fuck did he just Maybe say? Maybe finish our Kwanzaa play at White Castle. You seen the time for nigga knocking? Oh, did I just shit out a munchkin? What's up? What? My name's Kuma Mabako. That's what Kuma I eat Mabako. me for fruit yogurt. My parents and I, well, we're homeless. They're actually over there stealing the catalytic converter out of that car so we can sell the precious metal really? for scrap. They have to be stealing it, really? Money. Just because they're black. Okay. Little man, we ain't got any ducats either. Now get your ass in gear before the butcher starts carving some baloney. But my mom's pregnant. Pregnant? 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 Is one of you really pregnant? Yes, uh, my wife is. You're married? I never heard of such a thing. <laughs> done flat wheat and Mary, never heard of such a thing. You can lay back in the cut with us in our limbo shack. Much obliged. Why would Damn you go into a shack? Why the fuck are you letting that strawberry shortcake carrying bean slot in here? Just park your cock smoker here, honeydew. <sighs> I need to click up and fence my shit at the scrapyard. Then I gotta book down at the hospital and find a lily doctor to flip the script and excavate a Marilyn Macuda. Bill, why don't you check this hammerhead around town, you know? Keep him dancing on the blacktop for a while. 
Uh, okay, so let's get stepping. Hey, Precious, we're gonna make you do the hand bone dance in the Empire State Building for letting this swollen tick take a nap here. Rudy, do you even know the difference between a silverback gorilla and the movie Precious? No! The difference is that people have actually paid money to see a silverback gorilla. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Who, what part of the oh. Don't you remember Quantum Principle number three? That a knocked up panting hamster is worth a thousand strokes? So what? So what? That means none of us got to wear a Jimmy hat when we all take turns dropping stomach pancakes on her. We can pump her Wookie pie full of dick snot and not worry about her giving birth to one. Oh yeah! That reminds me, I better go distract Mr. Tyrone. He liable to crash the pogo party. But don't you want to plug this pregnant bitch? Believe me, I do, but I'd be as useless as Robinson Cano on the Mariners. I haven't seen my dick in ten years. More than that. Probably more than that. Why aren't these rock slingers buying my contraband? Now, look at here. Is that Sandy, Kim Wayans? Would you like for me to toss these she looks like Kim Wayans. Pick a record and pretend we're Puerto Rican. You'll be your last motherfucking day standing, Pitlock. <laughs> Tyro. Now what the fuck do you want, fatty R. Blackle? Is it true? That's so a good one. The party is going to be Blackle. here on Friday? How the hell should I know? Hey, you got a sign in the window. He and probably will like end up here once he's done pretending to make really black people bad look like drawn, Einstein. Right, on who wants to be a millionaire? I mean, can you imagine Did a, a black Sanders? sister with fifteen thousand dollars just Red because Fox. she can answer a fucking meaningless trivia question about say. a toilet plunger she Red saw Sanford. in an infomercial? Might as well give each contestant the Nobel Peace Prize for demonstrating the same IQ as Al Sharpton. Yeah. Now what the fuck do you want? Speak English, you cockroach. Mi amo es tanto año y trabajo como una organización de beneficencia. You dirty mollywop. I'll give you five dollars if you could say Philadelphia three times fast without sounding like a Tito Puente record. Now go out and your bodega slave and ask real Santa to bring you some goddamn Rosetta Stone. Do you do, Geppetto? Um, like my significant other is going to give birth any day now, and we don't got any insurance or any money. Get the fuck out. No man can give birth. Is the lucky baby going to crawl out of his dick hole? The fuck you talking about? I'm not gay. This is for my fucking wife. And if you uninsured, why don't you apply for Medicaid through Obamacare? Obamacare. Thank God we all voted for him. Wait a minute. <laughs> NSA just reported to us that you stole and sold a catalytic converter today for a hundred is that true? Like, uh, yeah, so, so what if I did? Well, that means you earned too much income this year. Sorry, <laughs> you'll have to apply for private insurance. $100, too much income. Wow, that's racist. Hey, what? However, you might be able to claim some of the money back through a rebate when you file for your taxes next year. My taxes? I don't fucking file for taxes. Mr. Tyrone, we just got to keep the clubhouse so we could finish our Kwanzaa play and celebrate the Kwanzaa. Breaking through electric boogaloo, huh? It would be a Kwanzaa. That solves everything. The entertainer Wayne Brady, D.L. Hughley, and Steve Harvey weren't subjected to so many white faggot cock goblin contestants trying to speak jive to them every time they go on their faggot fucking demasculinated bone smuggling game shows. There's a time and a place for Hawaiian shirt wearing donut punches like that, and it's called the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the fucking track. champs in the house. By the time she's done taco bumping them prison wolves, I'm gonna end up with at least eight more siblings. You know, Mr. Mr. Danny, you just like Barack Obama on a Monday. Barack Obama on a Monday? Yep. Ten minutes of actual work and seven hours and fifty minutes of deciding how to fuck over your own people. <laughs> Let me remind you about Kwanzaa principle number four. A penny is is a penny that still can't buy you shit. I'm gonna scare you hood rats away from the clubhouse by sticking a four higher sign on it. Then I'm gonna burn that nigga saloon down to the ground. Breaking through electric boogaloo. Any nigga off the street could sing and dance, mudfoot. Now I gotta get a tetanus shot because you touched my jacket. Um, well, it's Mr. Lero amnesia himself. Forget about all your roots. Now why are you gonna go
go take the clubhouse away from the gang. It's the only thing them young bloods got. Just think about it. By next year, half of them will be in the jail for playing the knockout game. The year after that, most of them will be dead from gang violence or drugs. And we'll be lucky to see the one or two who survive end up with some dignified job working in the TSA or as a server at Denny's. So what's your point? My point is, you black office, the city microcosm in time right now is the greatest, most terrific moment of their entire lives. So let them have their fucking clubhouse and let them revel in 21st century ghetto middle age. Uh, I guess I never thought of it this way. I mean, brothers like you and I got to grow old. Yeah, but we survived some hard times. The Great Slavery. Depression, World War II, Civil Rights Movement, AIDS epidemic, crack epidemic, disco. According disco? to the okay. we should have been killed off 60 years ago. Yeah, it was tough, but it was a simpler time back then. At least we had better athletes, better music, better liquor, better women, better leaders, better comedians. Now that I think of it, the 21st century has been a complete waste of time. I feel you. <laughs> Makes me want to turn the party I got sleep in into a time machine and go black to the future. But we here in the dog angels now. Oh, so he looks like a black Christopher Lloyd. These young bloods have the good house and let them have their time. It's the only fucking Don't. time. We can't do it, Marty. Hey, hey, hey. Did I miss the Only one point one jiggle on no, Marty. No, not yet. Hey, baby, I had no luck at the hospital. Uh, are you, uh, say, why does it smell like the garbage dumpster behind Long John Silver's in here? How dirty is it? What is it? God's black earth is going on around here. And why does it smell like the Baltimore Ravens locker room at the G-League tryouts? <laughs> it's Tyrone. It's Kwan's principal number five. The early bird. It's the child support. Oh. I don't know what kind of Kwan's play you motherfuckers are putting on in here, but this is the craziest thing I've seen since Hazel Dukes was put in charge of the old TV. But as Kwan's principal number six states, you can't judge a gook by its lunch specials. I changed my mind, Fat Albert. You lick a lot of pusses can have your clubhouse. For no reason. Oh. They didn't do electric boogaloo. This baby looks just like. Ah, 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 ah. Uh oh! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> oh my fucking god! That is so offensive. But that's why it's titled. That's why it's come from most offensive video. Because those guys can definitely bring it. Anyways, besides the shit that I didn't understand, this was pretty hilarious. But what else can you say, goddamn? But I miss most offensive video. They haven't done anything lately. They're getting kicked off YouTube and shit for doing this shit. But you can still go to their websites and just see their previous stuff they have done. Because it's pretty funny. Yeah, go check out Most Offensive Video's website. It's called mostoffensivevideo.com. That's where they're mostly at. I gotta check them out still to see if they haven't brought anything new, but they haven't done anything new lately. But anyway, that's it for now. Take it easy, Human Nation. Human Freak Out. Bye! Vivir así.